congratulations. Thanks, man. Film. Thank you. Uh, before we jump into it, though, I want to I wanna bring you back a few years to Comic Con. 2011, I think it was. Yep. We chatted briefly on a red carpet. Right. And if you had been a company, I would have bought stuff. I would have been in on that. <laughs> I called it. So I just want to say, congrats to you for your success. Thanks, man. Congrats to me for knowing. Congrats to you. Me. Good call. <laughs> how how different is life for you now since? No, then? things are good, man. It's uh, you know, I th I don't think it's well. I I certainly haven't ever reached a, a point of comfort with um with where things are at. I think you're always striving to um, to kind of make that next step and uh, and grow as a, as a performer. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I've certainly, there's no level of complacency with, uh, with a bit of success that's happened in the last few years. I still feel very green and very, uh, very new to it all, but just kind of figuring it out. And um, it's been interesting, it's been, it's been a good challenge. And I, look, I'm lucky to be working. You know, I remind myself of that all the time. And uh, but uh, but I love what I do, and uh, I like working hard, and um, yeah, just trucking along. It seemed to me that you got the exact roles that you needed to show the audience what you could do. Right. Start out as a good guy. You're the handsome good guy best friend. Then the next time we see you, you're a badass killer. Then you're a good guy who's got a chip on his shoulder. Jack. Dad? It seemed that the timing really just worked out perfectly. It's funny how that kind of happens. I mean, that's, you know, sometimes you're uh, you're in a position where you can really orchestrate that and, and choose. Um, you know, I'm only I'm only entering a place now where where sort of things are kind of optional, if you know what I mean. Um, it's like early on, it's you're kind of prepared to take on anything you can get. And uh, I mean, Spartacus, when I was living in Australia, was was the uh, the first thing that kind of set that off and then uh, then there was a couple of years where i did nothing and i was i was pretty much i'd have been happy with anything and um i i just i guess it was fortunate that you know when jack reacher came along it was a script i really dug and a character that i really wanted to play and uh you know in a pretty cool movie and it was just kind of yeah it dropped you know it happened there was a lot i missed out on that uh had i got in those other couple of years would have really change the course of things and I don't think I'd be sitting here today if things had gone differently so um, certainly no regrets there it's fun especially if you're not kind of you know you know my character in this movie is, is not in every scene by any by any stretch so you know you want to make an impact and there's there's obviously um, work to be done there in creating your performance and being very clear about you know the character's function and what you're going to do with that in order to kind of um, make the most of that screen time I guess but uh but yeah I was also like here's an opportunity to do something fun physically and um it's interesting there's quite a difference in the way the characters described physically in the book from what we what we ended up with in the movie but um that was just about finding a balance and we we tried everything from from being totally accurate to Veronica Roth's description of Eric um to a much pared down version and and kind of landed with uh with what you see there and um yeah, it's, you know, it's fun. It's like, it's it's kind of like, that's when you're in like dress ups mode. And it's like, you know what, cool man. Let's like, we know who he is. We know where he's going. Like, let's do something fun with him physically. And uh, I was all up for that 100%. You've got to remember to go to the makeup truck at the end of the day and get that stuff pulled off because, uh, you know, it can, it can create um, some interesting moments outside a set. That haircut wasn't very, uh, that wasn't really, it wasn't too kind to me when we weren't working. There wasn't a whole lot I could do with that. So uh, yeah, I, 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 I hid under hats for many months. <laughs> One of the things that I find, found really interesting about this movie is the idea of your worst fears. Right. And the thing that I thought of was, wouldn't your worst fears change as you got older? Have your worst fears changed? Yeah, definitely. Have, but yeah, of course they have. I mean, uh, it's almost like you probably forget what they were, you know what I mean? And you're maybe aware of what they are now. I mean, um, thinking now about, I don't know if I have a worst, I, I mean, I have a couple of minor phobias, but uh, I guess my, my worst fear right now, because it's what I'm, you know, it's, it's what I'm focused on and what consumes me at the moment would probably be, you know, um, having this whole acting thing like cave in on itself and not being able to do that anymore. You know what I mean? If that, if, if my career died tomorrow, that'd, that'd be my worst fear. 
<laughs> you know, I love what I love what it is I get to do, and so uh, you know that'd suck. Longevity is very important to me. <laughs> and now that you've uh, now that you've played this part, I, the thing that got me about the the Dauntless cast was I feel like you could pledge any fraternity in the world right now, and it would be the easiest experience in the world. Did it did it feel like a for you? You look like the pledge master. Right. That's what your character seemed to me to be. Right, right, right. Yeah, I guess it kind of is in that role. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's funny that world, man. I mean, uh, we get asked a lot what faction it is that we, you know, we'd, we'd see ourselves in, and uh, it's pretty simple for me. I, I mean, I know I'm obviously biased, but uh, but I would roll into Dauntless simply because of uh, I think it looks like they have the most fun, you know. <laughs> they get to do all the kind of. Uh, I'm not that much of a thrill seeker, but uh, but yeah, I I I I'd, I'd sort of take jumping off buildings and flying down zip lines and on, on and off trains over, uh, you know developing new technologies or something like that yeah you're working on some little known title yeah with a robot that's right there's a robot it's uh it is that's that's this is true yeah the terminator thing's gonna happen and it's uh it's cool it's not my first time jumping on board with a uh a franchise that's been pre-established i guess Die Hard was the the greatest example of that and um you know it's always interesting it's always tough kind of coming coming into something um quite deep down the down the line with sequels um, or reboots or whatever you want to call them but um, you know I think if the story is original and the, the people you're going to be working with are, are attractive to you then um, then uh, you know it, it can't be a bad thing and I think this is cool it's um, you know it's original there's not a lot I can sort of reveal but uh, but it's 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 taking that idea in that world that we know and, and um, you know introducing some really kind of new uh things into the mix and uh, I'm, I'm thrilled to be playing Kyle Reese it's gonna be great look I think you always want to grow as an actor and and showcase different things and um, when you start to having to think about what the next project's gonna be uh, it, it's it's challenging having to introduce strategy into this because you know whilst you're whilst you're loving working it's uh, it's something you hadn't thought about you know you had never had to consider what the next job was going to be and the impact of that it was just about like employment is good and therefore I will take it um, but uh, but no yeah feeling privileged to be in that position now and uh, look want to continue shaking it up I mean um, it, it can be risky you know sometimes it's about saying no to very specific things in order to not uh, create patterns that you might be afraid of um, continuing. Um, but you know, I think uh, I think I'm 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 juggling that relatively well. And uh, you know, there's going to be it's going to be a busy year coming up, and uh, some some exciting things on the horizon. You'll have to